Welcome to your exclusive New Orleans Saints news channel. Today, we have an important update about the team that will directly impact the upcoming game against the Denver Broncos. Stay with us until the end to get all the details. Following the tough week 6 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where the Saints fell 51 to 27 and the defense allowed 594 yards, more bad news has arrived. Chris Olave one of the Saints' top offensive weapons, has been ruled out for Thursday night's game due to a concussion. Head coach Dennis Allen confirmed the news, further complicating the outlook for the team. Olave, who has been a crucial part of the Saints' offense this season, will be absent just when they need him the most. With his absence, the responsibility will fall on receivers Bub Means, Mason Tipton, and Cedric Wilson, who have only combined for 116 yards over six games. These three players will need to step up if the Saints are to have any chance against the Broncos. But that's not all. There's also uncertainty surrounding starting quarterback Derek Carr, who suffered an oblique injury. On Tuesday, Carr did not participate in practice, which could pave the way for rookie Spencer Rattler to make his second NFL start. In his debut against the Buccaneers, Rattler had a mixed performance, completing 22 of 40 passes for 243 yards and one touchdown, but he also threw two interceptions and had two fumbles in the second half. Rattler admitted that the loss left bad vibes within the team, acknowledging that the offense fell short and put too much pressure on the defense. Still, the young quarterback expressed determination to improve and avoid the mistakes that cost the team. With Olave out and uncertainty at quarterback, the Saints face a tough challenge this Thursday night. Can Spencer Rattler lead the team to a win in his second start? Or will we see a Saints offense lacking the firepower to compete with the Broncos? If you enjoy these exclusive updates, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Plus, tell us in the comments, do you think the Saints can overcome these key absences and secure a victory? See you in the next video.